Hello, welcome back to E Boys Podcast episode. Mate, why we must be in twenties now. We must. I don't know. Probably a fifty. Well, this feels is, this has feels far like hundreds. Than I thought it would. Oh, I thought you were yeah. talking about sub days. No, I think we're on we're on seventeen or eighteen. I think. Let's go. That is that. Well done, us. We couldn't do the main channel, but we could do a podcast. We are elite. We are elite members of society. We can sit down and have a chat for an hour. Yeah, we could talk. Absolute grafters as well. I yeah, we're the best talkers on the planet. Why that you are? I, I read. <laughs> uh, apparently, people we're meant to be wearing maid dresses today. Uh, I didn't hear that. I didn't, oh, I didn't hear that. We agreed to no such thing. I, I don't know when we promised to do this, but I think at some point we. I think someone to... tweeted out off the boys Twitter like, um, "If we don't upload this week, we'll wear maid dresses in the next episode." But we did upload that week. Yeah, so that's that's one time off has run out. Oh, so wait, so we, we're not wearing maid dresses. Uh, we're well, not. No, no, I mean, unless you got one. No, it's good to be filled in. Who here owns a maid dress? Out of curiosity. What do you mean? You you are. It's... No, I know I do. Oh, I am. I am free. Yeah. I was. We well, don't. Yeah, I don't have a maid dress. Yeah, no, I can't say I do. You've got some interesting costumes, well, though. Stupid question. No, you've got some interesting costumes. Yeah, I'm not going to maid... I'm not going to my I, dresses, though. I noticed you gave up oh, on the... Oh, 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 I don't be allowed no dress. <laughs> you won't see me with a dress. <laughs> you won't see me wearing under that, that weird <laughs> shit. So you're right, and I agree. What's a costume? Oh, heartedly. Absolutely. Anyway, uh, boys, we are getting very cro- c- gross, gross. Very close to Christmas. Ooh. Uh, so because of that, right, this week's nutty Christmas. news is a bit is a bit Christmassy themed. Nut roast, nut roasty news, because that's like a <laughs> Christmas oh, thing, isn't it? Yeah. Shut up. Don't give him all for that. That was a four out of ten at best. Oh. Not, right, there's a, there's a, there's something there if I if I think about it more. All right, all right, we'll come back, we'll come back to you. Okay, uh, this week, boys, uh, etiquette expert. Wh- Fuck it, that was harder. William Hansen has shared his list of warning signs that your Christmas day might be common. Okay, so I've, I've noted them Well, down so we I... might be celebrating Christmas like the Povs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just wanted to check that no one in here was doing that. So no, I can't say I will be. As a four. All right, number one, presents. Christmas should be an exercise in restraint. And all those stockings can be opened before breakfast. Main presents should only be exchanged after the Queen's speech at 3 p.m. Have a day off. Who does that? 3 p.m. It's Christmas tradition to wake your parents up at five in the morning. I'm going to be honest here. No! James, James. I'm going to be honest here. Stockings for me throughout my childhood happened before when we're, whenever we wanted when we got up so like we'd have a stocking at the end of our bed and then we'd have to wait until we after we ate to do like main presents so everyone would be ate, ate breakfast or like after we ate as in like the christmas christmas dinner so christmas dinner everyone's everyone's gathered around the table and then like we all give our gifts after we that's eat. that's not right. that strange that's not that so, strange. But, so is that just because it was everyone was yeah but technically it would have been after 3 p.m so it, you know but then that it became a point where my dad day. just stopped giving me stockings. Like, that was just something I didn't have as a kid. We were going to say presents. He just stopped giving <laughs> yeah, you anything, too. really. Um, Gave up on you. Merry Christmas. Stop giving you love and affection. Yeah. <laughs> this, is the, this is the Christmas cheer, for fuck's sake. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, as, a, as a general... Do- I'm guessing the three of us disagree with that, and James, you're you're kind of in line with it. With your right, I, I I kind of like Christmas. coming for, from where I am right now. I would very much decide yes with no. you. But uh, in my childhood, yeah, though that did happen with me. All right, okay. The next one, I agree with. Right. I don't know if it's not so much common. I just think it's it it needs to fuck off. Social media updates. Sharing snaps of your big day on social media. I don't agree with the next bit. It's considered another common activity. It's supposed to be about the people you're with, not the people you are not with. Too right. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. I, I yeah. I mean, I don't think people who used to like put on like fucking Twitter and Snapchat or whatever you used to use mm. when I was a fucking kid, their presents, pile of presents, to shoot them in there. Oh yeah, no, I I do agree with that. They need gone. Uh, but I, I don't think Christmas should should just be a, a family thing. You know, like I'm 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 of the opinion that if you want to chat to people on Christmas, you fucking go for it. You know. But like I, I yeah I, I don't think social media is a big issue on on Christmas Day. Nah, but think, my family would have post that. Christmassy pictures. You need mm. especially yeah, like bragging about the amount of gifts you get. Yeah. If you're bragging, you're like, I've got a fucking like iPhone. 50 pound notes. You see, it's always like fi- like ten fifty pound notes like laid out. In <laughs> your account. and your dad's a drug dealer. All right. <laughs> uh, next one, an artificial Christmas tree. 
I have never ever had a real Christmas tree. Never. Really? Nah. I've had both. An artificial is elite. In, in all yeah. My, my yeah. parents kind of flip between. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, sometimes yeah, we'll I'm, do I'm with the George. artificial, sometimes we'll do the real one. Have you seen those videos of when the praying mantises come on the real ones? What? 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 There's like, sometimes you can get a Christmas tree and praying mantis egg is like on it. And then they all hatch on like Boxing Day. I think this is a north. What? I mean, <laughs> this is a, this is a Is this just what happens in the north? This is what, this is just what happens above Watford. <laughs> yeah, no, they've, they've normalized it, haven't they? In, in, infestations at Christmas. <laughs> and the great Where dragon of the north. The Boxing Day praying mantis. Where do Christmas trees come from? Uh, uh the, the ground. The ground. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fucking hate the trees. Like, together, I honestly, if I could get rid of trees. Uh, a like, forest, I, I probably. <laughs> no, but what country can, can, you, can you grow Christmas trees over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They grow them right. in the, in the uh, what's it, the house you went to, the wave house, don't they? I don't know. I don't think they didn't grow it from a seedling. Oh, but I had them there. The place where you always used to walk my my dogs when I was a kid. Well, you think they carried them over from okay. Norway? <laughs> okay, no, they're from they're from Germany. Oh. Well, all of them? No, not all of them. Well, no, I guess they 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 started in Germany. They started the Christmas tree tradition, so I imagine it's from wood that was very available in Germany. Well, from the tree that's very available in Germany. I've heard it's from like Scandinavia or somewhere. All right. Anyway, uh, fucking back to it. Artificial Christmas trees, cost-effective and easy to maintain. Mm. Fake Christmas trees are a staple for many, uh, but the etiquette expert says that anything that is pretending to be something. It's not falls into it falls into the NAF category. No, no, I don't agree. Yeah, I I disagree with that. I think like when you've had a regular Christmas tree enough, and you see how much shit goes on the floor from just the leaves like breaking down. If you got pets like, as well, man, that's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Like if you got cats, they'll just fuck with the tree. Yeah. yeah. All right, matching pajamas. William says that matching pajamas reek. Of unsophistication and adding that he thinks they look tragic. They're fucking nine, William. Do you let them fucking wear their pajamas? I think that's unfair. Yeah. I still yeah. wear my matching pajamas to George every Christmas. That's it. That's the end of Naughty News and my contribution. Probably oh, no, I liked that. that. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Will. It was very Christmassy. Yeah. Clap yourself here. Oh, chestnutty news. Chestnutty news. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You uh, you mentioned the wave house uh, in there, Jim. Have you seen they've been fucking? No, kicked I mentioned out? the wave house. I mentioned the wave house. It was George. Oh, Al George. Uh, <laughs> again, all right. So, um, <laughs> have you seen they've been kicked this out? Episodes go well for you, Will. <laughs> First of all, you don't know where trees come from, and now this. Yeah, forget it. No, go on, Will. Go on, go on. <laughs> I've already said it. I've already said it, but you talked over it so far. No, go, go on. I can't, what, what am I supposed to do now? Alex, Alex, I don't know what you... No, Alex, no well, you, you carry the dead air. It's fine. Alex, that wasn't very Christmassy. I'd like you to apologise to Will. I'm sorry. It wasn't very <laughs> Christmassy. No, have you seen they've been kicked out? Really? What? what? It's been like a month. <laughs> they've been told they've got to move out. Uh, I think they apparently... Went, well, did I, they speed run an eviction? Yeah, they did. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, you lot need to fucking up your shit. And yeah. When I went, they were like, oh, we've only got it for three months, but we're going to extend it for a year. And apparently not. They're doing like... Who the fuck moves out for three months? Surely it's just more hassle than it's worth. I know, I know, but it wasn't. Uh, they put red um, things on and they, they're doing... You know they did the reveals? They're now yeah. doing like their, their deaths. Council uh, House reveal. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Yeah, we'll move them into a fucking... Blocking pop lock. Oh, <laughs> mate, could you imagine? That would be great. That would that would be great telly, like seeing them the the, the change. In fairness, whoever paid for the wave house, because I doubt it was them, it was probably through a company, right? Yolk, yeah, Yolk Management. I think I know who it was. Because they had such a big blow up, and then they I don't I just didn't hear anything from them other than your video will after they had did that initial mask reveal. It was, that was it. That's what it felt like. Yeah, they kind of I, I went on their TikTok, they kind of plateaued at like one and a half, two million views, and then they've started doing these eliminations and it's like eight, nine million mm. views of TikTok again. Yeah, I saw so people being kicked out, out yeah. aren't they? Like or they leave <laughs> or whatever. Well, so they kind of just like gone like, oh now it's a reality show. Cause, <laughs> cause they've got to yeah. leave. I think I it's think more they just are like, now we need to find a way house. to get out. Sorry, Will? Like, they're getting another house, but a different one. Mm, okay. But that's so is it like they've actually been kicked out? Do you know that they've been kicked out or they just ended one it? House. Do you know what I mean? What'd you say, Will? I'm saying that's a bit naff when, you, when you've centred your group around the house. Yeah. Like the house was the content and now the house is gone. Also, you, do you get a better house? Like, how does that work? Is there I a better house? You get a better house, yeah. Like, imagine you just get a free bed semi-detached after that, That'd like... Be, yeah. Yeah, what do you do? 
So do you know for a fact they've been evicted? Yeah, just go on their TikTok. It's, uh, well, they were, one of them was live streaming as well, being like, yeah, we still don't know why we, we've been told we've got to move out. We've been told th- big things are coming, but fuck knows. Wait, was it the landlords it's, or was it, seems, it like the, it, the agency? Right, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. But it seemed pretty legit. It seemed, that seems like an agency kind of thing. Like, uh, because I mean, realistically, have they been doing brand deals to support that, or like, has it just been? Hmm. Yeah, I, that house really confuses me because I just don't understand how any of it really works, like at all. Well, speaking TikTok, of uh... TikTok, isn't an easy thing to monetize, is it? So no. What go on, Jim? Uh, yeah, speaking of people leaving things, uh, <laughs> we received a tweet about uh, e-boys topics because obviously, Will, you asked for some e-boys topics today, saying personally, I'm heartbroken by the news that Jesse has left Little Mix. I think you need to talk about how you lot are feeling. Hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, you know I'm in care. pieces. I'm in pieces. <laughs> Quite honestly, I don't think I'm ready to talk about this. No, not right. in a public forum as well. Mm. I feel like oh, yeah, I'll right. be opening myself up too much. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to put that part of me on the internet. I don't want to open that wound if it's not going to heal. Can you name any other members of Little Mix? <laughs> yeah. Jade, uh, Perry, and Leanne. Leanne? Or Lee? Yeah. You could have named three fucking names there, and I. But yeah. I, I named the right names. Nobody I would named know. The right names. I did. I said the right ones. I know, yeah, I nobody Perry's would know. One. Perry's but, one, right? And so is Jade, and so is Leanne. Fucking look it up, fella. No, oh, we're not saying that it, you've made it up. I'm just. Yes. But I just. I, I, just... I said you. You may as well have made it up because I don't know them, and I like. No. I I know who who, Jesse is. Yeah, I know Jesse. You don't sound confident. <laughs> that, that, that's the ballet. Is she the, is she girl, the ballet? Is yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. does that even? Did anybody ever work out what she was trying to say? Uh, she was doing a oh, Jamaican accent. I'm not sure. I don't know what she was trying to say. Ballet de, ballet de. Big mysteries of the 21st century. <laughs> it's a conspiracy theory. Do you know what about big uh, mysteries of the 21st century? Um, did you see that a YouTube YouTube was uploaded this video the other day where they, where they claimed that they up did all the monoliths. Banging nice. video. Oh, Banging I video. Tweet, I hope that it is someone. Mm. I hope it's like a fucking... Oh, what's Josh Peters been doing these last couple of months? He must be doing something. Not a lift everywhere. Who, who uploaded it? I fucking hope it's a YouTube video. That'd be sick. Yeah, somebody uploaded this video. Uh, it went straight to my recommended. It had been up for probably about like 10 minutes. And it was just like... They went and put monoliths in Romania and Australia, I think. I don't know if they were inspired by the original one. They claimed that the first one was theirs. But there's no proof. Yeah. But it was a good video. Um, I just... Has anybody who paid attention to the monoliths? Anybody figured out anything else here? No, honestly, I haven't looked into it, really. I reckon it's aliens, mate. It's not really, like, like something to look into. Like, something like, all oh, read into the code of a big metal sheet. It should have given me a little bit more to work with, whoever yeah. it was. A little bit more of an Easter egg puzzle. Should have put like some codes. Do you reckon maybe something like coordinates? Maybe it's the coordinates. Yeah, yeah. it's just random places that made yeah. no sense would have been great as well. Like just fucking skegnet. The, co- the coordinates spell boobies. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like a really kind of, uh, if you actually yeah, collect them all together, it's actually yeah. like just somebody's merch drop and they've just done that as a really interesting way to promote it. You could do anything like that. That sounds very Nico or Milano. I feel like that's something he'd do. It does, doesn't it? So like, it's like he'd do. I just saw his tweet, by the way, at us on this podcast about me biting him. You do look the type. Did you ever? Have you ever bitten anyone before in, in like school or anything? I feel like I've seen you bite someone. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, come on then. Here we go. Who's that? Who oh. would that have been? No, I think I'm thinking about the um that that, um, that that video I got of you where you're like just like in your underwear like running towards the camera. I might have yeah. bitten you after that. Yeah, you may have. Right. Yeah, I I just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go from there, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that video I've got you in the underwear. Yeah. Oh, come on, <laughs> everyone knows this video. Haven't you seen that like screenshot of Alex like this? <laughs> yeah, sure, mate. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. on. No, that's everyone's like a, that's like everyone's famous... got this video of me in my underwear. Oh shut up, man. I don't believe I don't, I think you're losing it, mate, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Um what else has been going on? Anybody <laughs> done anything this week? I've just Deji, been working Deji came really. out. Did you see that? What? What? Deji came out. What? what his recent yeah, video? He made. A, he posted a video called "Coming Out." And it, he's, he's not gay, but he's, he's changed the title now. But it, What's he, it now? everyone was just like, "I haven't watched the video, but I know it's not. He's not actually." I didn't gay. know it was titled that originally. I watched that video and I thought it was quite good. Like, what was, was it about? He was talking about like um, a lot of it was just an apology to JJ. No, oh, really? And he cried quite a lot, and I thought it was quite a good video. Oh, I feel bad. Um, <laughs> what made it good? The fact he cried a lot? 
Oh, or... He's just talking. It, it was like a, a November thing. Like it was like. Oh. Um, oh, okay. It was like opening up about stuff. Did you see Calix's Calix's ones of those? Fucking sick. Yeah, really Calix's good. Calix's November video has been amazing. I saw his one. Uh, I haven't watched his fishing one yet, but I saw his one yeah. where, about being in a room. I clicked on that and I was just like the one about where he's through. moving and shit. I, I saw that yeah, one. That one was very good. good. Yeah. Something I, 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 I watched a bit of the fishing one and then it was too high production and I got a bit scared and clicked off. Yeah. yeah. You know when YouTube videos look a little too good and you just feel a bit uncomfortable? That's why our videos are always shit. <laughs> what? We're Nothing. authentic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we are wank, but we're wank in our own way. Yeah. yeah. Our last main channel video, I was quite comfortable. I was happy with how shit it was. That wasn't shit. Come on, man. No, but it was it was it was shit in a good way, wasn't it? Like it went wrong. Yeah, in a good yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Okay, like no, that. I'll accept that. I'll accept yeah. that. A lot of people were very supportive of my series of a celebrity or in person or in person. Of your series. <laughs> that is your my, series. It was, it was my <laughs> series. I organised <laughs> it. My, my addition to the E Boys channel is celebrity or impersonator, and I probably shouldn't be claiming it because it will probably get nowhere near the amount of views our other videos get. But still, I I thought it was a great video. Does that mean green screens is Alex's series? Too right. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. that Mate, I'll happily take What's that. What's your series as George? What's your series? That was Cynic's idea. It, green screens. It might have been, but he's not here, is he? So yeah, who no, really cares, to be honest? I don't really give a fuck about him. Fuck you, Cynic Snacks. It's mine. Yeah. I'm going to take the most viewed... Um, all the most viewed videos on, on the E-Boys channel are all my idea. Right? Like, this next, this they, next they, E-Boys... mainly all your weeks, like. Yeah, that, 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 that means I just have to... You were £10 versus a £1,000 takeaway? Yes, yeah, that was yeah. a great. I still love two. that video. You, got two of the top two. you know, I went. I opened up Roker actually. <laughs> I opened up Roker on delivery. Don't ask why. Um, just dabbling, and uh, I saw. You know, when you got like, oh, reorder again, and it was reorder again, one grand. <laughs> it, was just, <laughs> it was just the list, and I was like, I'm a bit hungry. Last weekend. Do you right? Bloody hell! Yeah, that video. I just love that video. It was a great one. Um, we should have won a streamy, agenda? I think. We should have won a streamy. Oh, we got I robbed. can't see why we didn't. Streamies, man. We got robbed, man. I can't see why we didn't. We did get robbed. Who, 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 do you, can, you read, can someone read out the streamy award? Yeah, I'll get them on. Charlie, I know Charlie D'Amelio won Breakout Creator of the Year. Fair enough. That's fair enough. She got, got like 100 followers. million followers. Like. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, did, you, did you know who won Editor of the Year? <laughs> yes, that Chip fucking fat. specky fat. dork. No, it's... Fucking give me Chip Fat. Give it fucking Give it chip, chip fat. fat. He made us look great for about three months. Give it fucking chip fat. Yeah, he really deserves it. Yeah, it was it was Logan Logan Paul's um Something, editor. He, he he activates my fight or flight him. That makes me really sad, you know. Okay. I don't like him. Creator of the year was Mr. Beast. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. that's deserved. I feel like it's a bit obvious, though. You know what I mean? Maybe they should just throw in. Yeah, but still, it's, it's obvious because it's deserved. Like it's like giving like Tiger Woods or something an award. You're like, well, he's already the best. We save the awards for people who aren't the best. Yeah, yeah, and it can't really be. It can't be somebody like Dobrik, can it? Because he hasn't uploaded really. No. Who's Sarah Cooper? Sarah Cooper's on here. I don't know. No so, offense. What? What did she? What did she win? Twitter. Apparently, it's a Twitter creator. Oh. What the fuck's a Twitter creator? What does creator? that mean? Oh, imagine winning best Twitter account. That's a fucking sad existence. I don't want to be mean because we don't know the person, but... Oh, I know. They're, they're, a net, they're a Netflix person. Everything's fine. A comedy special in 2020. What's the worst that could happen? Well, And everything. it's, uh, like, burning. Should, should we look up reviews for it? Yeah, Wait, go on. I want to hear more, more winners. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no, go on. Uh, show of the year is Instant Influencer by James Charles. Did anyone watch that? I did. I did, obviously. Did you like it? It was all right. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, just the standard kind of like YouTube show. But I thought Ethan's, Ethan's was good. Yeah, he has the, the most liked YouTuber. Originally. He does, yeah. So I feel like he deserves some form of mention. But Yeah, it's not even on here. Not even on here. But UK creators, are there any UK creators in there out of curiosity? Not on this bit, no. Because there aren't normally, and I always find that interesting. Oh yeah, there was none on Creator of the Year as well. Is this just an American thing normally? Because I, I don't think I've ever seen a British person win a streamy. There's no KSI. Well, no, because there's there's international awards, and, and we're not even on there. They just hate us. It's like fucking Eurovision, we've been robbed again. There's a guy called Mike Crack in... <laughs> Sorry? There's a song called Mike Crack in Spain. Uh, there's a Japanese channel, Mythpat from India. 
Go on. <laughs> Breakout creator was Charlie D'Amelio. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, That's understandable. Sense. Who's Spencer X? Uh, Spencer Owens' twin brother. Okay. Uh, <laughs> collaboration was David Dobrik and Justin Bieber. That was a good That was a good collab. Yeah. Was that this year? Well, apparently. Yeah. Fucking hell, that feels yonks ago, doesn't it? Um, crossover, uh, Will Smith. <laughs> not each. Was well, it's a, it's a, the crossover channel. So it was between Jack Black, Jason Derulo, Kevin James, Naomi Campbell, and Will Smith. What did they do? They they were on YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Well, I quite like Jack Black on YouTube. I, it makes me yeah. feel good. Yeah, no, no, no. Jablinski Games is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a good he, channel. He, he, he feels like it's coming from a good place and yeah. so forth. Just build this platform. He's good on, yeah, he's on TikTok as well. He's good on TikTok. First person, uh, Emma Chamberlain won that. I think that's like vlogs. <laughs> First person to do what? It's not him first person, no, no, though, is but it? But, like, you know, perspective. <laughs> first person. First person to do YouTube this year. Well, yeah, I, well, as soon as it turns midnight and uh, New Year's, you've got to upload like, a video. Fuck. <laughs> we all want to stream. We all want to That's stream. That's an award worth having. Like, fucking fastest clicker. Did anybody get most consistent uploader? I think that'd be for you, mate. Yeah. Nick Merck's one uh, live streamer. Right. Um, Indie series went to Chris and Jack. No idea. No. Uh, pff, don't know what that is. Uh, podcast went to the E Boys actually. Oh, yeah, well in. Well in. Yeah, cheers for that, everyone. Where are um, we in the ch- sorry? Where are we in the chat? Uh, yeah, we were, sorry, I was I was taking a left turn. But, Animated but, went to Jaden Animations. Um, Beauty, James Charles, Comedy, Sarah Cooper again. Who's anyone, Sarah Cooper? The, the one who was who was nominated for Best Creator earlier. She beat Gus Johnson. And oh, I fucking love Gus. Oh, Johnson. I love Gus. Yeah. Oh, I do love Gus. Commentary out of uh, none of us. Uh, D'Angelo Wallace, they're, Danny they're Gonzalez. Awards for commentary channels. Yep, Jarvis Johnson, Tiffany Ferguson, and ContraPoints, and it went to ContraPoints. Uh, I knew those, all the other names, but yeah, um, maybe then maybe they're lovely people. Yeah, no, I, 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 interesting. I'm not. I'm not queued in enough to know much about what's going on anymore. Why was I not nominated for a streamy? Girl, my commentary videos are so good. Yeah, I, to be honest, we don't deserve it. Gaming went to Dream. So yeah, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, back that. Back what, that. yeah, what guy? Uh, and then uh, kids went to Ryan's World. Learning and education went to Mark Rober. Um, yeah, I love Mark. Do you know that Ryan's? Yeah. Oh, Mark Rober's pieces. great. That Ryan's World is gonna gross like. I sound like a billion in toy sales or something soon. I read. Well, Let's is this to Ryan's toy Mr. reviews? Ryan. Yeah. Oh. Fucking hell. I read that the other day. Technology went to Marcus Brownlee, but I think yeah. it should have gone to Michael Reeves. He's one of my favourite YouTubers. Uh, Ray, Michael's stuff is so funny. I do like Michael Reeves. Michael Reeves is... Have you watched one of his videos as well? So he's in offline TV. He basically invents things. So he... Right. But he, they're so... He invents like really think cursed I items. Do they so, bang bang? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like that. surgery robots, and then he'll yes, get like yeah, Pokemon yeah, 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 to come and like test it out. It's very funny, very good. Yeah, they're good um, videos. Those are best editor. We won't talk about that one. Marcus Bra- Marcus Brownlee has a lovely yeah. camera though, and it always looks brilliant. And it always Marcus Brownlee is one of them ones you click on his video, and you know when you can choose the quality. Mm. I always learn new YouTube qualities I didn't <laughs> know existed on Marcus Brownlee videos. Joker, he's got like a room. It was just oh, like this huge yeah, computer. Shut up. <laughs> I think he's got one. At least. God, this there was so many awards. Okay, this is this is this is brand of the year. Guess what that went to? Right. Oh, hang on, hang on. Netflix. For what? When when I have don't... you ever seen Netflix sponsor someone? <laughs> Didn't Netflix get in like massive drama this year for paedophilia allegations with that that um that, did you see uh, that? thing? Yeah. There was this yeah. show. I about, do like, want to say that ten-year-old Netf- French girls twerking or something like that. Ne- and then, like, Netflix, <laughs> Netflix do follow us all on Twitter, so they don't follow me. I checked this the other day. They don't follow me. Well, they follow me. So Netflix. Oh, that's another thing we could talk about. Oh yeah. Verified. Oh yeah. For yes, we all are. Today. No, it fucking means nothing. Yeah, this this podcast looking very blue these days, boys. It is, yeah. isn't it? And I was, you know, James, did you know you've got the feature to like look through who all your followers who are verified are no you, yeah. if, okay if you go on your phone go to like your followers and then you, you'll see verified followers i was just scrolling through it the other day nickelodeon follow me for some reason oh, nickelodeon if if you I, want wait, me to do, do a really good kids show huh let you click on your followers click on your followers and just yeah click on your followers on your um because i i showed george because i do this in my spare time like a loser oh shit yeah 
Go on, read it out. Let's read out some. Let's read out right. some of ours. Oh, TikTok UK. Good. Um, Do you know what the worst part is? This is when you realise you don't follow people who you should be following. Yeah. And you're like, uh, you didn't follow Theo Baker, George. No, so I followed him back. Cause I'd... Wait, who wants to be a millionaire? They follow yeah. us, yeah. After, uh, they commented on our video, right? Phase K followed me the other day, I think. <laughs> Uh, it's so weird. Dolowich Hamlet FC? Yeah, don't Who's Overt Flow? Overflow. Uh, fight, uh, it did a fight uh, with V Sensei. Yeah, mm-hmm. Overflow. Saffron I'll tell Parker. You. Yeah, big up Saffron. I was really happy. I got uh, Anthony Padilla following me back the other day. Ooh. I was well happy with that. That's a banger. Yeah. Um. I got this guy called Dave who says I was an ex-con and now I'm in a controversial movie. Nice. Shout out to Dave. Fleshlight, follow me. Oh, good. That's a, ba- that's a banger. Um... Hooch! Hooch Lemon Brew, follow me. Oh, really? really? <laughs> oh, I just followed I... them back. That's amazing. Michael McCrudden follows me! Nickelodeon UK. Uh... Michael McCrudden, well, he's your mate. The st- who wants the... to be a millionaire follows me? Yeah, I think no, they follow I've, all of us. I've said that, yeah. The student room. Lucas Crookshank. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. The student room. That gave me flashbacks to you. Yeah. You, Follow. You know, You're I, the type of person to post forums on the student room. I was actually, um, I when it. I was a very small YouTuber, they reached out to me to have me do a series on their YouTube channel. But I asked for payment and they said no. Oh, unlucky, mate. I said, 50, I said 50 pounds a video and they said no. Fucking <laughs> It's like working for George. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember Made in TYO? Made in what? TYO, the rapper. He did. Um, he had an XXL oh, freshman. Yeah. He follows he me. He follows bare people. He yeah, yeah. But still, K. I'm taking that. Um, James Charles, my nice. my driller. <laughs> oh, Adele, follow me. Adele. Adele. The Adele. That's crazy. I got one that I bet none of you have. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy follows me. That is a banger, right. to be fair. Yeah. Uh, not quite Post Malone, though. No, it isn't quite Post Malone. Well, it is. Soldier Boy is better than Post Malone. Okay, no, no, we're not going You're getting him on the podcast, aren't you, Will? Yeah, he's coming on. It says next week. Have you ever DM'd him? No. no. Would you ever DM him? No. Not even for a forfeit for an E-Boys video one day no, when I write it into a video. Yeah, no way. You really wouldn't. What if I got you to DM him something like, oh, I love your lovely, your toes are really beautiful, Post Malone. <laughs> yeah, that, I would do that. I, I can, I think I can, I can say this now, but because obviously we're doing E Boy's Secret Santa, and that's coming out this weekend. Post Malone's on your album, isn't he? One of the things I was getting. It's coming um, out this weekend. For. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, yeah. no, it's not. Okay, you know what? I won't, I won't talk about it. <laughs> 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 a little bit more time. A little bit more time. Yeah, yeah fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, that video's gonna take a while to be done. Oh, Yogscast Lewis follows me. I, I do love the Yogscast. Speaking of, like, of people that follow us and, and being verified, does anyone here have any dream guests for the podcast? Because last dream? week we did, a, we did our first... Nice one. No, dream? Last week... <laughs> nice. Last right, one, you got it in the first time. Last, last <laughs> week we... Uh, I'll, please stop going to say something. <laughs> do it again, right? do it again. Dream? Oh, so last right. week we had our first guest and it went down very well. Hey, James, what about dream? Turns <laughs> out what people wanted most from this podcast is to not dream? from us. Uh, okay, yeah. So I was wondering if you three had a dream guest for the podcast. Dream. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, your that's your answer. So Joe. Joe. Oh. Joe Mama. So fall nearly for nearly that. So well. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm back in the game. I wish I had just normal friends. You know what? I was watching a clip from the fellas podcast the other day. <laughs> And they yeah. said, like, they were just chatting shit about our podcast. They were like, if you listen to the E-Boys podcast, you got fucking problems. Is that what he said? Is that how it is? Is that how it is? Oh. And I was, just saying, I was just saying, I was just saying, like, looking at myself going, I do somewhat agree with them. If they listen to our podcast regularly, they probably do have some. Fuck it, fuck them, man. They bang one video and they've gassed themselves. Yeah. We've got all, we've got four podcasts, fuck off, both of you. Well said, they haven't even had Tommy in it on their podcast. Yeah, too exactly, right. Boys, eh? They haven't even had Tommy in it on. They haven't had where's a... their arse talk section? Just because you couldn't back arse talk. Yeah, where's, yeah. Actually, I did watch a clip of theirs, though, and I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, question, would you rather do the first 90% of a blowjob or the last 10? 
The uh, first 90. The first I, could 90. I could get it done really quickly as well, you know. Right. What about you, George? It's 100% a choice. You either uh, uh, Glockatron 3000. George. <laughs> what did he say? George? I mean, if you're going to put 90% in, you might as well put the final 10% in, you know. Right. So you're get saying, the job would, done. So what, what one would you do then? Would you do the 90% of the 10, 10% with the ending? And the, well, I'd do it 90% like, really? um, because I don't quite like mess that much. But, you know, you might as well get the job done. Oh, there Sorry. wouldn't be any mess, George, because you'd take it like a champ, wouldn't you? I've not, I don't, I don't, my, my, my brain just went blank there. I don't have a response to I'm just thinking of it all, don't you? <laughs> You've sent uh, him on a trail there, Jim. Yeah, sorry. Kind of uh, made him shudder a little bit. Actually, it's dependent on how long, <laughs> how much stamina they have. Because if, they, if they're not going to bust for like 40 minutes... Jesus. I'm not giving that gluck gluck for 35 minutes, no, you know. See, no, I've got no, no. things to do. I've George, got places George, to be. It's, it's nothing about stamina. It's about ability. So you need to yeah. back yourself and go, hey, I can, I can throw can I give that? this. Can I give that dumb uck? <laughs> you just become an absolute throat goblin and just... <laughs> I hate this segment. I hate this podcast. Throat goblin. Do you know what? Throat We've goblin. gone from everybody listening to the E-Boys podcast is weird to oh, I could oh, suck somebody off yeah, for 40 minutes. <laughs> Fuck me. No, but it wouldn't be 40 minutes. I'm back in George here. I reckon 40 minutes will become four no, very quickly. George... The thing is, James, I'm not experienced in this sector. So what? I think I will be there for 40 minutes if I was doing the 90% one. Do you, mm. you think you'd get teeth involved? Uh, I think you did. hundred percent no teeth involved. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying, like, do you think because you, you had? Well, yeah, you'd hope, James. George, huh? Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> so I, I, I think I'm going to change my answer to final ten percent because it's okay. like a, it'll be a few right. minute job, and then, um, yeah. I can spend the rest of the time cleaning up. Do you not? Do you not feel bad stealing from other people, though? You know, taking credit for other people's See, work. Because he fucking doesn't. You so know, what? Would it change hands? I got in an argument on Twitter for for, <laughs> Tag stealing, team. for for stealing a tweet. Um, there's a there's an account called like Dinosaur Memes, and they uh they <laughs> tweet up. like uh, they tweet like uh, kind of like sad boy dinosaur memes. So it's like dinosaurs saying sad things to each other, and they retweeted something from 2019. And I was like, oh, that's quite a funny tweet. I'll tweet that. And then they replied, <laughs> sad, stopped. going like. Why is it? Do you like? Why didn't you just retweet it? Why do you have to steal other people's content? So I replied with a sad dinosaur meme, and they, <laughs> and they, and they replied again, being like, "As a content creator, surely you should understand that it's not nice to have your content stolen." And I was just like, what what you, "What's your opinion what on that?" Oh, the dinosaurs off. getting angry. It's all fair game. I wanted to. Re- I wanted to reply, being like, I, I "Don't deep Twitter, you know. I'm I'm stealing some words off you. I'm, you haven't spent much time. I mean, I did also steal the I'm, art I'm as a joke." Rewrite, but... slow down. What'd you say? I'm just going to copy and paste, slow down and release it. Feel free, feel free. (laughs) Feel free. (laughs) Art stealing should be punishable by hanging, I think. (laughs) Okay. Mate, you know artists take this stuff really seriously and that they'll get really angry. Oh, yeah, but no, no, I I think there's a difference between stealing art and stealing a tweet, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but I hear people in our Discord all the time complain about you stealing tweets, James. Well, yeah, but it's funny, isn't it? Tell him to get a job, Alex. See, the thing is, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> who, who complains about James stealing tweets? <laughs> yeah, our mate Joe says that James has taken a few of oh, his yeah. baggers. I regularly steal his tweets. Because he's one of the, <laughs> because he's so unbelievably irrelevant, but he does have a bit of, like, quality to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, they, but this is the thing. It's like, if you... If you Hold could, down your forehead, Joe, whatever your fucking name is. You can, you can take... It's almost <laughs> like talent scouting without their permission. So, you, you scout these talents... This will be this will be in a Discord server later. <laughs> Just steal it. There are there are little tweet tweet makers. They're like elves. Santa gets all the credit. Doesn't even do any of the fucking work. <laughs> that's what, that's what, that's yeah, in a way, I'm just Twitter Santa. <laughs> you're Twitter Santa. You're giving joy to the many <laughs> by taking the work from the few. It's brilliant. Oh. But anti Robin Hood. <laughs> People should be honoured when you take one of their tweets and post it to me. They should be happy that they made one good enough to be on there. I have deleted tweets before after people have called me out for stealing them. <laughs> does, it happen, does this when, happen when, a when, lot? Yeah, Cave Town. I stole Cave Town's tweet. Oh, but, yes, I remember. And then Cave Town replied to me calling me lame. And I was like, yep. Who's Cave, who's Cave Town? Cave Town's um, a musician. All right, let's have a look at Cave Town. It's quite famous. Come on, let's rip into him. No one upsets our little Jimmy. He's fucking ginger with glasses and he's calling other people lame. I mean, I did... Have we seen this, guys? I 
could beat up three of this man at one time. I, I, I uh, what's he called again? Cave Town. Don't Cave come for Cave Town. Cave Town. Cave Town's got like a cult audience. They will probably find I'll you. I'll fucking chin. All right. Okay. Yeah. Cult. How, how cult? How cult? I wouldn't say like, I'd say like Tumblr cult though. I wouldn't say like cult. Oh, cult. so I could chin them too. I reckon you could chin them. Fucking let's have it then you big fucking <laughs> cottage core freaks. <laughs> What's well, cottage core? You know what cottage core is? No. It's like fucking. Cottage core is a cool. It's a cool aesthetic. It's cool. Mm. I don't know if it's cool, but it's an aesthetic. <laughs> oh my god! Coming for everyone in this podcast. Fuck them. Merry Fuck Christmas. Uh, I wanted to. I was listening to a song earlier. Speaking about music, I was listening to uh, "Foundations" by Kate Nash, and you know, like that that general vibe of like British music from the noughties, where it's just like "I'm da da dam lemons," you what, know, like very. What's, much. What's, what's, sorry, what's, sorry, what's, 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 what's sorry. Like? Da- yeah, like That's we all know a British song that goes "I'm dam dam lemons." <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean, though. Like there was that point in time in in the UK where. It's a staple for British songs in the early 2000s to go, um, dum, 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 lemon. Well, no, this is, I, <laughs> it's how you identify, it's I how you distinguish EP, them. When I drop my EP in the first song, it's like, um, dum, dum, lemon. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you know what I mean? In the kind of like noughties, like no. Lily Allen era of, yeah. of British music, where like you were popular if you just spoke with a very British accent. You know what I mean? Yeah, have you heard Foundations by Kate Nash? Sing it. What, what does it go like? Um, I want to get the lyrics up. Hold on. Your They're all bangers, so aren't they? Fit off. It's Your got the night. Thursday night, everything's fine except you've got yeah, that yeah, look yeah, in yeah, your yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. very like. I'm damn damn lemons. Because your uh, your Thursday, yeah. <laughs> they are much fit off. That one. Because I am so bitter, I said I'd yeah. rather be with your friends, mate. Because they are much fitter. That one. Oh, what a banger! And you smashed that. Is that what you're you doing know, the new album? Yeah, no, exactly. But it, it's it's like, you know, that very, like, it's James like Marriott very Lu- English, isn't it? James Marriott just loses think- the posh boy persona in his new album. <laughs> anyway, where was this point going? I wanted to know what you guys think is, like, one of the... If you had to show a song that was British <gasps> in, um, in pop culture, not like, uh, you can't just no, show I the national anthem. Where it's like, one bouncer's all right, the other one's just scary. And uh, what's it fucking called? Arctic Monkeys. I'd probably do uh, Who's That, What's That? I think that one is a very it. British song. Oh, that, that that would be very, like, a, over the last few years, I'd say that one's definitely up there, yeah. Hang on. Uh, is it Rich of the Rubble? Yeah, from the Rich of the Rubble, Arctic Ar- Monkeys. Can't say I know that one. Yeah, you have. You know. Let me, let me stream it for one second. Maybe cut this out, but... <laughs> Let's play copyrighted music hour on Spotify. Welcome back uh, to the E-Boys podcast. We use Spotify and is... Spotify only. The other ones are scary and it's way Why are you locked into Kieran's Spotify? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we go you through? Used to edit on this PC. Do you just steal his Spotify premium? No, no. I just I can't log into my old Facebook because it got hacked. So I've ah. just got this. I've got I can't I've got it on my Mac and I can't have it anywhere else. So right. on my PC, it's Kieran's. Have you noticed, Will, that he's put editing and good vibes in two separate playlists? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's fucking, he'll probably be gone by now. Oh, no, he's got two more days when this podcast comes out. What to live? Yeah, that's it. Man. He's <laughs> terminal illness. <laughs> Cherry? Fucking kill Welcome back, all. everybody. That's called editing for Will and E. Don't do it. No, no, do it, do it. I need another one. I need another fucking someone to make me look good. I do, I do genuinely need another editor, so hit me up if you're fucking class. Nice. So, um, okay, okay, Alex and George, what would you say is a quintessentially British song? Um, Who's that? The Muffin Man. Okay. Shrek. Well, you've already said you've already. Who said uh, Nico B? Was that you, George? Yeah, that was me. So, Alex, you need it. What about need... Jamie T? Sticks and Stones, or um, when the sun goes down. That's a fucking another Arctic Monkeys one. Oh, Any actually, another one. T. The do you remember Scouting for Girls? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, like pretty much any oh, song. Mi- from what them. about what about Mika? Fuck, fuck Mika. I Mika's hate Mika. Mika's really? fucking hate French. Mika's yeah, but it's British. It's British music. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, it is. We're in five English. Do you know what? Mr. Brightside's a very English song, and they're fucking American. Kids. Yeah, but that's yeah. the thing. It's like it, that song was never big in the states. I don't think. Yeah, weird. Why did we adopt them? I don't fucking want them. But it's very like. I don't know. It's 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 such like a British culture song. I think, Mr. Brightside. Yeah, Brightside's defo, defo, defo. Yeah. What about like Kids MGMT? What, what are you? What's your? Hmm? Kids by MGMT by Management. That's a classic. That 
feels British, but I bet it's worldwide. What you know, Two Door Cinema Club. Oh, oh Two Door Cinema Club yeah, is a yeah. that, that album. That what mm. was it called? Uh, I know the, the one with the O's. From... Yeah. yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, they, everything by Two Door oh, Cinema that's Club. That's a is good great. question, actually. Uh, Jamie T. Sheila. That's a fucking British song. Um, Better Sweet Symphony by the Verve. Yes. 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 I think that one helps because it comes up before England Games, doesn't it? So you it, you you naturally associate it. England uh, Games ITV. Yeah. You knew it was yeah, gonna be a bad yeah. day when Almost that song started playing. Hotel Room Service by Pitbull. <laughs> right. I think that's a, a great a great British song. Uh, WAP, Wet Ass Pussy uh, by them like. Uh, Merry Merry Christmas by the Sidemen. <laughs> Keep up by KSI. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring Jeremy. Uh, Lamborghini. Um, Every song by the Halal Ham. Slow Down. No, God, yeah. Very British song. I'm trying to think. I'm glad that that topic is completely developed. Uh, but I think we did get some good answers in there. The well, Actually, yeah, we no, got, one more. One more. The World Cup song by Joe Weller. Okay. Well, you kind of mentioned that. <laughs> Yeah, no, that one doesn't run anymore, mate. <laughs> for for legal this, reasons, we don't know what we just mentioned. <laughs> well, I don't know what the World Cup is. <laughs> never heard of it. Oh, music. Never heard of music at the World Cup. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I just have the image of Joe Weller dressed up as Balotelli <laughs> burned into my head. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Oh, for me, it's... My God. My yeah. God. Who let them go? Who the fact that, that somebody go? probably sat there and did that for him. <laughs> I think about that a lot. Well, he didn't just do it himself. He didn't just fucking... There was a team of people that just thought, yeah, this is all right. He's just really talented makeup artist. Did he do Kagawa yeah. as well? <laughs> he yeah. did it all. Oh, my... He did Jarrod. He did the Jarrod oh. one that really offended me personally. I just don't think that was acceptable. <laughs> so, so bad. Um, yeah, probably not a quintessentially British song, that one. Maybe we could scrub that, that one off. Um, I'm trying to think of as, uh, any other great songs. You got any more suggestions? I'd say the National Anthem's a pretty good one. It's pretty British. I said it earlier. I said that's not. On, I'm not allowing that response. It's well British, that song. If it I was to shit. pin a country to that shit. song, i put it. Is, uh, it is Britain. Who, if someone... You, who would you give to do a... If, if we're going to have any new national anthem, who would you give to do it? Um, James Corden Ooh. and Dizzy Rascal. <laughs> Fucking James Corden. <laughs> Fucks. <laughs> Just James Corden and the whole England team yeah, behind him. that would be great. James Corden and Dizzy Rascal for my my one. Paul Chuckle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll give him that. He deserves it. He's earned it. After all that cameo pricing. Could have made him sing that. Flow Rider. <laughs> Sean Paul. <laughs> No, I'm trying Go to think. with him, would girl. You, you... Sorry. Adele? You'd probably give it Adele, right? To the end of the season. She's too good, though. That's cheating. You've got to give it someone a little bit shit. Like Eurovision. You couldn't sell Adele to Eurovision. Cher Lloyd. Yeah, but the national anthem isn't Eurovision. I think there's a lot more to be had. All right, to... all right. You know what? Come, come around. So we should we get the big guns on it? Uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Robbie Williams. You're not yeah. going to get <laughs> fucking Jedward doing Elvis it. Elvis Presley from Stoke. Robbie Williams, no, he could do it. I, I feel like he could do it. But then there's just like that question of like, oh, but you'd want to take that to have a reunion for the national anthem, wouldn't you? And then it would become a whole drama and no one wants that. What about Oasis? Oh. Uh, I can't agree on it. Uh, it's also just fucking, you'd be representing Manchester and not much else. Honestly, yeah, I don't think Oasis would do a fucking national anthem anyway. If we were to have, if you had to pick someone else, some other country's national anthem and have it as ours, what one would it be? Like, what's your favourite national anthem? I think the German one goes on for fucking ages. Yeah, but they... I like the Russian one. I think the Russian one's that, what's freaking what's epic. I like the Russian one. Huh? What's it going like? Oh, I thought that was just a meme. Is that yes. actually is it? I think, that, I think yeah. that is it. Yeah, that is it. The Russian national anthem goes off, man. Yeah. <laughs> look for, do a trap for <laughs> Oh, so yes, please, mate. Anthem. I just remember hearing it like in Call of Duty World at War. Like, do you remember that, Alex? I, th- I think it's when they, uh, they you put you put up when the, you put flag the flag up and it plays the in Berlin. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great yeah, scene. Yeah, that, that's a, that that was like one. Of the, that's the best ending to a Call of Duty game. Yeah, yeah that it never really will be topped. It's such a good fucking game that. Um, that campaign is the best one by yeah. far. Oh, I remember that sniping mission on the campaign. Oh, so, so good. Fun. 
when you got to fucking dance through the stuff. What's yeah. It? Sorry, is it that COD Four? We're talking World about of, World at War. Five. Call of Duty. Did you play Call of Duty World at War? Yes. Yeah, the campaign on that was sick, wasn't it? The sniping mission when you're in Berlin. Oh, is it Berlin? Oh, when you're running through the building with the one guy, right? Or is it the Moscow massacre? I can't remember which one it is. Not very cheery, either of them. No. So, um, I can't remember which mission's which. My bad. Uh, well, the last one's in Berlin, but I think the first one's in Moscow. And there's the, the missions in Japan as well where you can get the ray gun. Yes. That, that, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the Japan ones always used to scare me because they come out of the trees. I hated that. You have to. They just. They would get you ever. I probably played through that campaign like twenty times. Oh, at least, at least. I love that. I love that one. Did any of you watch the Game Awards? Actually, talking about games. I know nobody here did. Stupid <laughs> asking. Game awards. Well, what else would they talk about? <laughs> the Game Awards. Um, they gave a bunch of games awards. Among Us won everything. It won. Among Us won absolutely everything. But it wasn't Fair released enough. this year, was it? No, it was released in twenty sixteen. But it won everything, I suppose, because people only played it this year. Yeah. Maybe there's a new map for that scene are we all going to play Fall Guys doesn't deserve an award nah, I need to doesn't yeah, I hope it didn't doesn't no not in my opinion nah, it, it, it's fucking frustrating it's a shit game it's, it was it was good for the amount of time it took me to get a win and then I got my win and dipped you know I've never won a game of Fall Guys it's one of those things where it's like you might as well just get your win and then never play it again because as soon as you have your first win it's like heroin it's like heroin you, you, you have your first hit of heroin too and right heroin's Heroin's and great, good. fantastic, you're flying high. Yeah, but then every time you hit heroin after that point, it will never it be as good as it was before. So what's the point? We so know what from we're experience. Saying is do heroin, but only once. Yeah. That is the message I want to put out to my <laughs> to my followers. If you want to do heroin, sure, but make sure you don't do it twice. Naughty. Oh. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's outrageous. I uploaded a YouTube video just now, boys. Well, welcome back. I've got something for it's you. All, uh, here we go. Go on, what are you getting? What's he gonna do? I might have a, might have a whiskey. Shall I go get my champagne? <laughs> Upstairs. Yeah. Pop over the sh- Shall I actually? Expensive champagne. Don't, don't, don't. They don't know about that yet. Yeah, Secret champagne. It's just a bottle of cum. Cum, cummy champagne. <laughs> you cum pain. Oh. How's it? Oh, oh wow. Got a check up. <laughs> How's it doing, Alex? Is it doing well? 40k views in 15 minutes. That's sick. I'm That's back, sick. baby. I'm back. What is this? <laughs> yes. I didn't yes, even hear no that. Noise. There was just no audio to that. <laughs> you didn't hear that at all. There was just no audio to that. No, 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 it'll just be Discord. That'll not got it. This'll have got it. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna edit it. In. Edit it in some celebration yes. stuff. Yes. What's it called? Is it like Back to Nothing? You no, know, it's not the sequel. Um, it's just called It's Over, and it's on. For, it's on. It's on. For, <laughs> it's it's on forty k views in the first fifteen minutes. So Oi! it's a one in ten. I'm back and I'm, and everybody thinks I've quit. That's, that's, it's gonna be great. You're a dirty, dirty but, uh, bastard, but I've got a lot of respect. Thanks for everybody who's waited, um, especially all the people who support that's... from the podcast. I talk about that in the video. I say that the podcast and this channel has been a lot of fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> it says it's over, but your top line of the description says it's good to be back. Smiling, <laughs> you know they can see that. Oh, I'm gonna change that. Yeah, put it, put it, you yeah, put a sad, put some sad shit. At the- mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, let's write your description for you. Uh, shall I? I, I what about thanks for everything? Oh, you left the pit of you turning the camera on. Oh, amazing. Oh man, I've, amazing. I've smashed this video. You got all the cliches. I've smashed you? this video so much. Um, thanks for everything. Dot 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 dot. Oh, and it was a merch plug as well. You're the goat. Mate, Alex, I you're the make goat. this video. It's, it's genius. It's over, for me. it's over the. the what's what? Where could you put it after over? Let's 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 skip over the bit where I talk about like dead relatives and that. That part not important. But the rest was brilliant. Um, was that before or after the merch plug? Before. <laughs> it's not a merch <laughs> plug. I'm just wearing <laughs> it. But, but cheering it's it up. It's not a that. merch plug. I just wear my clothing a lot. Everybody knows this. It's the fucking second link. If you want to go, bo- oh, I forgot what that was. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the default. It's the YouTube default. Don't get angry at me. It's the YouTube. Default. Yeah, but you make your default. I'm not angry. I'm proud. I'm so I'm proud. I'm just gonna leave it there. Oh my god, amazing! Right, fucking banger. Yeah, go just on, make the, change the description to buy my clothes. No. <laughs> no. <because laughs> oh, just put it to buy my clothes and fuck off. <laughs> if you're fucking angry, <laughs> fuck off. I've been off for four months. Pay my rent. God, I'm owed it. 
Yeah, Jesus Christ. Well, Alex, that's fine. What an eventful, what an eventful day, what an eventful episode, what an eventful week. It's been a good week. I think Christmas is gonna be shit compared to this week. Why? Oh, oh yeah. What? Because our our Christmas, yeah, our Christmas was was brilliant. yeah yeah yeah. Watch the fucking E Boys Secret Santa. It's really yeah, good. when it comes out yeah, in, in a month. Yeah, in a month. When it comes out, <laughs> it'll be out soon. It'll be out soon. When it comes out in March, it, oh, you guys, you'll love it. Are we gonna do one of these for Easter as well? What E Boys? What's what? Who's E Boys? What's the Easter version Easter? Of Santa? What's the E-Boys version? George, George Easter version it begins with an E. Like... Easter. Like E-Boys Easter. You just didn't <laughs> announce yet the E more. Easter. So it's like E-Boys Easter. You put yeah. a hyphen there as well. Yeah. yeah. It's like the title. Yeah. Nice one, George. What's yeah. the thumbnail for that, George? <laughs> bunny. You in a bunny uh, costume. Just uh, one of us coming out yeah. from behind a tomb and a fucking move. <laughs> we, could, uh, we could have a, a video where we make eggs for each other. Or fertilise them. <laughs> no. No, I think we've done enough with. What? Well, that, what? Really. what, what is done? that? Yeah. I fucking I didn't realise it's got a bit of spring on it. <laughs> Techno- technical, technical time with Will Lenny when we take stuff apart in his bedroom and he puts it back together. Oh, Just like yeah. a little droid. How far up your nose do you think you oh, could put that? Okay. Like if you unco- no, I mean the I mean the coil. If you uncord it, how far up your nose do you think you could put it? That's grim. If you're listening to this uh, podcast on Spotify, do not click over onto YouTube. No, you don't. Just, just leave yourself, save yourself from this one. That's grim. I'm just wondering how far do you think you can put it up your nose? Oh, 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 oh no, I didn't mean it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it was just a prank. Okay, all right. Good, I'm relieved. Fucking well in. Scene. Can I talk about Cyberpunk? Oh, I haven't played that. I can't play it. Why? I've been oh. trying to play it, but it, my, I'm, I'm 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 trying to upgrade my computer now. I, I I added PC specialist earlier, and now we're we're in we're having the we started a dialogue to try and upgrade my PC. But I want to actually get a better PC so I can fucking run that shitty game. That's gonna cost you like eight. You got loads of money. Just fucking pay you like eight for grand. it. You stingy. What'd you say, Will? I said you got loads of fucking money. Pay for it yourself. Yeah, you stingy. Well, well if I could, if you can get something for free. Why should you pay for it? Uh, James, you make a grand in like me. half a day. Just, just, just fucking. That is unbelievably <laughs> untrue. I very much. W- <laughs> I, at least four. Yeah, I very much wish that was the <laughs> case. Grand, I was thinking, does seen... he? What's changed been Did up you see to? The... <laughs> yeah. Did you see the um the when Cyberpunk first came out and people just kept revealing penises on live streams? Yes. There's so yeah. many clips. Oh yeah, the. Why yeah. did they model the actual cock? And did you see this? What the small uh. The small one no. was. No, was it? What was it? Sizable. The small cock was just was just average cock, and everyone was really angry. Oh. Not me, because I've got yeah. big cock. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was going to um, say, George, are you, are you so, sure? Everyone that else was really sure. angry, and not me. Projecting a bit there, aren't you, mate? To be honest, I was going to I was going to ask actually because I was thinking about this. I went for an average penis size because you can choose your size. You choose large, average, or small. And I yeah. and I have an argument to make here that I think uh, you are most likely to get behind your protagonist if they have an average sized penis, because what? if you go behind, if, you, uh, all, right? if your protagonist has a small penis, you'll be like, oh, they're compensating, aren't they? Like, oh yeah, they're talking it big, but they're compensating. They know they're not packing downstairs. Whereas if they have a large penis, you're never going to really empathize with them because it's like, wow, they've got everything. They've got cool guns. They've got a sick lifestyle. They live in a cool city and they've got a huge knob. And, and you know what I mean? you say packing downstairs just sent shivers down my body. It weirded me out a bit. To give you, well, no, I don't downstairs. think that's weirding you out. Okay, I, so that's I, I, you I didn't follow after that. I, I got a bit freaked out. Okay, well, let me let me resume. So cool. what I was saying was that... Um, if if the protagonist has too big a penis, I think they've got too much going Please for them. Please stop and you talking. I, 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 it's it's really scary. It's... Why? Do you not understand what I'm saying, though? No. If it's you saying that, so it's freaking me out. Why is it, why? why? Are you why? constantly just going through the game thinking about your character's cock size? Well, no, because yeah. I barely played it, but I have been thinking about my character's cock size outside of the game, thinking, why did I pick average cock size? You know. What does that What's say about you? What's the science behind that? Exactly. What's the su- why? And I want to see. I want to see the statistics. I want to see how many people have gone small because I'm wondering. I would never go for small, and I probably would never. Go Everybody, for if you can, uh, tweet James Murray at your cock right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he really needs to know. Please don't do that. Don't do that. I'm talking about a video game for context. <laughs> Please don't do that. Not even as a joke. Not even ironically. Not even as a you've said not to do it, so do it. I'm gonna ironically <laughs> send you a picture of my cock. Please do. Please do. <laughs> Don't. 
say that. No, to George, not to everyone else. <laughs> I was going to say, please. Oh, don't. I just want George's cock. Don't do that, don't do that. Don't send George a penis either. No, please don't, for the love of God. Right, we've got anything else. Dream is in a lot of trouble at the moment. And by a lot of trouble, I mean some people who don't go out very much are very angry. I guess you could say he's having a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, James. Thanks, lads. <laughs> so, Dream has, been, Dream has been doing his speed run. Um, I don't know if you guys know if you've seen his videos. He speeds runs the he speed runs the entire entirety of Minecraft. Basically, can you complete Minecraft in like fifteen minutes? That's really it. Um, he submitted. I didn't know you could do this. He submitted his speed run off, and apparently there's a, like a council of people who play Minecraft speed runs. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm not joking. They sit around a big o o oval table. If you're part of the Minecraft speed run council, I beg you get laid. Like, just go outside, man. Come on. And they. They watched through Dream Speed Run, and you won't believe it, but they have said that they believe it's fake. What? And, no! And Dream, in fairness, is not very happy about that. Um, because that's, it, that's his entire YouTube channel, isn't it? Like, if, if the official Minecraft Council of Speedruns suddenly say that your speedruns are fake, kind of makes the videos harder to believe. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be real with you though. I'm, I doubt like the tens of millions of people that watch Dream videos are gonna go. No, <laughs> hey, the council. I'm, I'm, I'm never watch them again. Not the council. Not the council of speedruns. The council have decided your fate. <laughs> <laughs> What, so what did they say was fake? Uh, they just said that. Um, right. So I I watched the yeah. video. I watched the video. It, it, the the idea is that the the runs that Dream has are way too lucky for them to not ask questions so like the chance of having a dream-esque run is like one in like eight billion like the amount of like consistent times he's had like good runs of like good drops because you know because of the minecraft worlds in it right it's the way that the minecraft so you know how when you start up a minecraft world it completely randomly generates um basically to complete minecraft you have to go to the end beat beat the ender dragon I think he gets very lucky where he basically spawns and he's really close to where the Ender Dragon would be. This is so sad. I can't believe I'm explaining this in detail. But it's more it's more than that. No, it's no, more no, than no. that. I'm, it's I'm, also it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, well. I, it's good, it's good. I'm, I'm enjoying the explanation. It's more than like it's more than that as well. It's also about drop rates. So it's also like when you when you trade with pigmen to get ender pearls, which are really necessary, that his pigmen give ender pearls so much more than like any other people that contest yeah and like and like even like blaze rods dropping and stuff like that he just has like so much more luck with everything throughout the run yeah or like a lot of things throughout the run so it's just like he's got high so, loot really so they just believe that he's tampered with the game file in some way shape or form um so they've asked him to send over like his minecraft game file and stuff like that's how serious this is taking. Set, submit your files to the council <laughs> for review <laughs> Or reap your fate. So is he is he doing that or not doing that? Is he not doing that protest because they're cunts, or is he gonna do like might as well just get it? Up? Apparently he deletes them after like he regularly goes back and deletes shit for his computer when he's done stuff. So. So they're saying he's deleting the evidence. So it's a big controversy at the moment. Who will live? Destruction of evidence that carry that carries a prison <laughs> sentence. I think Dream's in a lot of trouble here. I don't oh, no. think he would have been so loud about it if he had modded it. That's what I'm. That's where my my opinion is. I don't think he would have made such a fuss about it on Twitter. He just would have ignored it, surely. Yeah. I think he really cares about being first, which he would do. How many views does that video get? It must be like nearly a hundred mil, right? Yeah. I've seen speed. I've seen that speed run. How, hmm. how much? How many views? A lot. God. Yeah, like it'll have tens of millions. He went and did one the other day because he tried to beat the record. I think, you know, he's in, he, and the thing is, they're calling him a cheat, but he's, even if this one goes through, I think he's only in sixth place. And if you watch the speed run that they're, they're calling out for being like way too lucky, he actually gets really unlucky for quite a while. He, he misses out. He needs one ender pearl and he just like runs around like completely quiet for like four minutes trying to fucking find one. Um, so it's like if he had found the ender pearl that he needed or he had had one extra and one hadn't broken, then he would have actually been able to finish the game in record time. But he didn't, and now they're also invalidating it. So it's like two things, you know. Yeah, he also, I'm pretty sure he said that he's beaten the record off stream loads of times. Um, but, you know, it's just really, it's really interesting because, like, 
people really care about this stuff. And like clearly on Twitter, and I understand why he cares because it's his job. But I just, I really found the whole idea of there being a council of people who, I doubt they actively <laughs> spend you know, all their time checking. Probably. But imagine that being, I hope they get paid in some way, shape or form. Because imagine that being what you do. I hope they get shot. You check other people's yeah, speedruns in Minecraft. Them. Well, they have channels as well. Shoot this is the them. thing. It's like the controversy about it is now one of the people who is on the council has got a banger video out of it. So it's like, ah. yeah. And it's got a lot of fucking views. And that's what Dream thinks. He's like, oh, I think they're just like purposely trying to make a case against me because it will bang views. And it has. So Yeah, it's done a million views in three days. Yeah, it's one of the, it's, yeah I wonder if he wasn't getting all this fucking, like if he wasn't blowing up so much of the... If they they would never been. question that, right? Never. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, they, I don't think they'd be asking as many questions. But I think there's also the point to be made that, like, out of, you know, a lot of people can go and do these Minecraft runs and get insane luck. How is it that this massive YouTuber is one that's getting insane luck? So it's like they're also going to ask a question because it's like, ooh, it doesn't like, you know, you know what I mean? YouTube. People already accuse, you know, you know, the videos he does where he fights people, right? Like the ones, like we did, the video he did with us. Um, yeah, yeah. People accuse him of faking those but we've played with him and i mean i know we don't know much about minecraft but like he is really fucking good <laughs> like i oh, mean i watch his videos the guy's nuts yeah people think that those videos aren't real but as somebody who's played with dream for like an hour the guy is fucking next level <laughs> you'll claim to fame you'll cl- i played at least an hour no, but people people say he's he's all his other videos, the ones that like George not found and Sapnap and those ones are fake. So like it's it's a big they're not, they're it's a not. big thing that goes on with him where people just say that his videos aren't real. I just I just don't I just I think the the whole appeal obviously is that it is it's mental. Yeah, I, especially with his spe- uh, with his um, videos of like George not found and Sapnap and Double Halo people like that. I think those they just they just record a lot of them. I think because they I think they have a rule where if Dream dies within a certain amount of time, it, they just won't bother with the video. They just redo it because it's like obviously if it was just like a three minute video and Dream dies, everyone would be like, "That's a bit fucking naff, isn't it?" Has he ever died in one of them? I've only watched a couple of his videos, but like, has he ever died in one of the speed runs? I think he has. I've seen him die in them before on TikTok and stuff, so I'd assume that he does. That's I've good. Only, that keeps their viewers on the edge of their seats. Yeah, I've only ever watched ones where he's won, but uh, yeah, I'm sure he has died. Yeah, it's very strange though because it's like a big deal at the moment. Um, you know, that for, for the see, speed runs aren't apparently real or whatever, which is just crazy. We stand with Dream. We do, Team Dream. We're part of the Dream Team. Thanks. That's outrageous. Thanks for the million views on the E Boys channel. We needed it. Thank, yeah, thank you, fella. We really needed it yeah. then as well. We'll we defend you to the depth. end of time. Thank you. And Tommy, thank you for the only podcast we've banged. <laughs> hey, no, our first podcast has done well. Ah, um, it's the first one they always banged. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the Tommy the Tommy one's almost got more views than it. So Yeah, well done. Cool. Dream, if you want to come on and defend yourself. This is an open invite. <laughs> yeah, this is the platform to <laughs> the do. Council it. will see you now. <laughs> We are the, we know the most about this stuff, so you should go and talk to us about it. We'll ask him what he thinks about rugby as well. <laughs> yeah, he'd love that. Yeah, and which Harry Potter character? No, oh, yeah, you yeah, he's actually eighteen. I'd like to know that. Ever, that's good. That's informative. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Well, thank you for Funny watching that, this episode of the Ebooks Podcast. You can listen to this over on hours. Spotify if you want. Hey, thank you, yeah. everyone. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they're yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Charlie Arnold's channel. And what did you say, Will? I don't think Spotify are giving us a deal. We should fuck them. We should start buttering up Apple Music. Okay, well, you can listen to this podcast over on Apple Music if you want. What about Deezer? Is that <laughs> still a thing? You can listen to this podcast over on Deezer if you want. <laughs> hey, too right. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye.